Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to edit with your audio expanded. This is a pro move on how to get really smooth audio transitions in your edit and you should be doing this absolutely all of the time. So first of all, I will just remind you that you need to have your audio meters out because you need to edit audio with your eyes and just watch it. Not, don't trust your headphones, don't trust your ears, trust the science that goes into measuring this. You want your audio to always be hovering between minus 12 and minus 6 if it's a conversation and never peaking in the red. Yeah, so let me show you what I mean. So for example, if I've got an interview here with Becky and then it goes into some scenes of the conference where Becky was at, let's just play what the transition sounds like. Can you hear there's like a little like click in between the clips? And that's from when the background noise changes. Obviously the background that noise that you have where Becky's doing her interview and the background noise that you have of the conference is very different. There is a way to smooth that. So what you need to do first of all is select both of your clips and then control click and do expand audio. Now expand audio what it's going to do is it's going to let you edit the audio and the video separately without detaching them so that you can still move them together so they're still synchronized um, but you can edit them separately. So if I do expand audio, have you seen, did you really see what happened? So it gave me a separate line for the audio and for the video. And what I tend to do when I'm editing a transition like this is that I will layer the audio a little bit. So I don't need, I can't lose any of Becky's words at the end, but I can lose, for example, a couple of frames of the conference shot. And what I can do as well is then, oh, it's a bit fiddly. Um, it's because I have these giant cursor thingies to help you see what I'm trying to do. Let me try it further away. I can, there we go. I can make sure it blends in and out. So now, can you tell the difference? She kind of like goes out very gently and the sound of the conference comes in gently without hearing that. Let's try it again and let me zoom in so you can see what I actually did. So Becky's words are, they fade out very, very gently just at the end so that I don't lose any of her words. And the conference audio is overlaps a little bit with her words. Can you see that here? And it's also faded in. So when you actually play it, it kind of creates this really smooth transition. Let's hear it. Now I think I overdid it there a little bit too much and I can bring this back in. Let's try it again. Can you hear that? And now you don't get that like, or a click because of the change in background noise. And this is a really good way of making sure that your edits and your audio edits are really smooth.